There's now keep slash lucky draws in Warzone Mobile, and if you don't know what these are, these are essentially really rare weapons that are a, a tier above Mastercraft, but they can be pretty pricey. So if we go to drop info rates, we have a 0.08% chance of getting this MP5 blueprint. That's the main thing here. It's the digital demon for the Lockman sub. There's also the cyber friend operator skin. Uh, there's also some other blueprints here too. The, uh, the some sort of impact. A lot of different blueprints here. So how this works is we have to spend 40 COD points. We spend 40 COD points and we get one of these items here. So I guess let's just go ahead. So 40 COD points. What are we getting? Cool. We ended up getting the unstoppable emblem. Now we can no longer get that emblem. We have it and you can see our odds of getting the blueprint went up slightly. We now have a 0.09% chance of getting the blueprint. However, the cost also went up. So now it's going to cost us $1 and we got a knife. So it's kind of like loot boxes, but you, you, you're guaranteed to get all the items eventually if you keep doing them. It's not completely RNG. So there we go. We ended up getting the knife blueprint, which looks kind of sick. And now if we check our rates, we now have a point. Uh, 0.1% chance of it. And now it's 160 cob points. Oh, boom. We got the operator skin. That was a really low odds for that. So cyber friend, who is that for? Nikto. Let's, let's, let's actually go check that out. So if we go, um, we'll continue getting the rest of it. But if we go to gear up, uh, that was a modern warfare two operator, right? Holy, there are so many operators in this game. Uh, hello. I think that was, um, that was a DLC operator too. Holy. This is the hardest part about getting a new operator skin, dude. All these names are blurring together as I move it across the screen. There are so... No, nope, that's not it. There are so many... Did we pass it? No shot. No, oh, let me find this. Oh, there we go. These should be in alphabetical order. There it is. Cyber Fiend. Go ahead, equip that. Definitely um, one of the most interesting looking operator skins we have for this dude. It stands out the most, so we'll equip that. What are our current odds to get it? It's still 0 0.10. It's 350. 350 cob points for it. Um, I have a feeling the last item we're going to get is the Lockman Shroud. So there's a large decal. Now 650 for the next spin on the lucky draw. Come on. Give me that blueprint. Give me that blueprint. Nope. And we have got a weapon sticker is what we have gotten now. What are our current odds? We have a 0.33% chance. So let's go ahead. 1,100 COD points and blueprint, please. And a vehicle skin. Cool. Uh, Cyber Demon vehicle skin. Now our odds are 0.43 and it's 1,600 COD points. I mean, we're getting, I, we're going to probably get the sticker is my best bet. We're going to get that sticker down at the bottom. Yeah. And cool. Uh, we got the, oh no, it was a charm. My bad. We got the internal drive. Now we're guaranteed to get a blueprint. I mean, there's nothing else we can get. There's three blueprints there. 2,500 COD points. The price of an entire bundle here. And give me the, nope. We uh, got the Caustic Void FTAC Siege blueprint. I wonder if these have tracers. They don't really say. I This definitely has tracers, right? You kind of can see. Oh, we get a little sneak peek of what it does. Sick. I wonder if it has a unique inspect, but that is... That is what that does. Uh, so we, oh, wow. Uh, for 3,500 COD points, we have a 1% chance. Oh, we got it. Sick. Uh, we only had a 1% odd of getting that. Fire. So there it is. The Digital Demon Lockman Shroud Sub. And if we wanted to, we could get this blueprint right here uh, for the TAC M. The Ion Impact, however, I mean, we have 100%. If we buy it one more time, we'll get it. But that would be 4,800 COD points. So I'm personally not going to spend uh, 4,800 COD points on this blueprint. That's like, you know, two bundles worth of COD points there. Uh, I think I'm good. I got what I wanted from this. I wanted that Lockman Shroud. So gear up. Let's see if I can equip it. Please let me equip it. Uh, if not, I guess we'll figure something else out. And I will eventually post this video when we're able to use it. So all the way to the end, the digital demon. No, we are. Um, all right, give give me a few minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure something out and see if I can get this working. Okay, it's been a couple days, but Warzone Mobile got an update and it's finally been fixed. If we go here, go to SMGs, find it for like the 18th time. Lockman sub, boom, all the way to the end. Digital demon. We are able to equip it, so go ahead, put that on, and let's finally load this in game and see what happens when we inspect it and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go into mosh pit, just simple MP 
Okay, we got Rust. Gonna be kinda hard to check out the weapon on this smaller map, but here it is. I already forgot the name of it, but the first legendary in Warzone Mobile, technically not the first one. I know that there was one that before the game launched, you were able to get. Let's try see if we can find a nice little safe spot to inspect this because I've heard it has. Okay, uh, just let him pass. All right, let's inspect this bad boy. What happened? All right, what happens when we inspect it? Okay, so it's got some custom sounds with it. The gun seems to have a ghost inside of it. You inspect it. The gun lifts up. You know, you got that little ghost floating around. Then you swap it away. And, yep, they, they, there you go. Not not the craziest inspect, but it has one. Uh, should have tracers as well. They're kind of just purple and ghastly. Yeah, okay, well. Uh, ADS, no custom ADS. What about if we reload it? Yeah, so it's got a custom reload. This is not something we see in the main series games. I like that a lot. If you reload the gun, shoots out the magazine, and the magazine turns into like a soul, and then it gets absorbed back into the weapon. What if we, what about if it's empty? Go ahead, empty out the entire magazine. Oh, so it does. There is a different animation for an empty magazine. Let's do that one again. We're gonna have no bullets left. Yep. I, I wish Mastercrafts did this. I don't even know if technically, even though it has a unique inspect, if it's technically a Mastercraft because it's a legendary, but I wish Mastercraft started adding unique inspects. All right, let's see what happens. Finally, we take an enemy out with this. All right, where are we at, boys? Where, where? With the last few bullets I have left because we spam so many into just nothingness. No. 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 Oh. Okay, so it takes out the enemy. Absorbs their body and it leaves some sort of a uh, demon behind. Uh, try it again, but maybe get a little bit closer up. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, not the craziest death effect ever. Pretty, pretty simple there. But hey, it uh, it exists. I don't know. Overall, like the, the coolest part to me is the reload of this. That's what I'm most interested about. But if I'm kind of thinking about if this is worth it. Like, this is the most expensive weapon in this game. This is more expensive than that $80 melee blueprint that just came out. I think we ended up spending like $100 plus dollars worth of COD points to get this, which is a lot for a blueprint. Obviously, we got a few other goodies like this Tech 9, but none of the other blueprints have tracers. There's a melee weapon. I don't know. Hopefully, they get cooler in the future because I'm going to be honest. Uh, instead of getting this... Getting the Shamu bundle that comes with that Ice Mastercraft for 20 bucks and a cool operator skin. Yeah, we got an operator skin, but I don't know. I think I think some of the $20 Mastercraft bundles are kind of cooler than this. I mean, if you want to collect all the cool Mastercraft weapons, obviously, but um, it is a hefty price to get this bad boy. Overall, the attachments that come on it by default kind of working really, really well. But with that, guys, actually, wait, can we put camos on this? Hold on. You know, I was going to end it, but... um. Not even sure if you can actually apply camos on this. Hopefully you can. You're up. Uh, go over to MP, Digital Demon, Interface, Camos. Oh, yeah. And since it's a Modern Warfare 2... Ooh. Ooh. Poly looks fire on it. Since it's a Modern Warfare 2 weapon, uh, you just have the Modern Warfare 2 Mastery Camos. But there's also a buttload of event camos that we've unlocked that we could throw on here. And it looks to have pretty decent coverage over... Ooh. The ni that, that nice yellow goes pretty pretty well you know i was gonna stop here but let, let's load it in game with polyatomic let's see um how it looks if we actually load into game with one of these camos real quick oh and the other small map here's what it looks like with camos like polyatomic covers up pretty much the whole thing except for the crystals on it so pretty decent coverage uh with that guys we're gonna wrap this up if you want to see when future keeps are released uh we'll bite the bullet we'll go ahead we'll get the tears we'll test out the thing test out the inspect if you want to see that uh that way you can see it before you buy it make sure to unlock that um that subscribe button let me know how you personally feel about this or if you think the uh the mastercraft bundles are a better overall deal thank you guys for watching have a great day peace lego unlocked he's lego unlocked it's going to unlock all these camels